So one of the things you want to do when you're recording video and audio is set your audio before you start recording. But let me tell you, even for people that have been doing it a long time like me, you can still, how do I want to say it? Screw up. So I want to show you in this video a really cool feature that's in Final Cut Pro that fixes your video. It's actually two buttons. There's no plugins and this is how it works. All right, so now here's a video I recorded and you can tell it's just one long take right there. And here, let me switch it. I usually use this mode right here because I can see my my uh, audio better. Uh, if you just see it, let me go back to that. This is how it imports in. I like to see this because a lot of times I cut my audio. But right now it looks okay, but let me just play a little right here and you'll, you'll see, and I've also got this, uh, the audio uh, meters here, larger so you can see. Now watch this, when I just play. So now once you have it, now once you have it there, what you need to do, you need to come down. Now it may sound okay, but typically you want your audio right in here and it's a little low. So let me just play again. What you need to do, you need to come down and you'll have this button right here. But before you hit record, now again, that's the way I recorded it. I didn't check my audio levels before I record it, but here are the two things you can do in Final Cut that absolutely will save the day. Okay, so we're gonna highlight the clip and right over here on the right-hand side, this is your inspector. And it does a lot of different things based on which setting you're in. So right here, you can do everything from your scaling of your video and stuff like that. I'm gonna undo that. You can crop the video. So this is really more the video side. Then you can also do things like color correction, Right here is where we're gonna go. And it's the little uh, the little sound speaker. There's two buttons right here, voice isolation. And even though I cut this or recorded this in my home office studio, I usually always turn voice isolation on because it just isolates my voice even more and loudness. Okay, so right now it's ready. It's that quick. You just click it and it does it and listen. So now once you have it, now once you have it there, what you need to do, you need to come down and you'll have this button right now. It kind of looks the same, but it is louder. So I'm gonna play it again for you and I'm gonna turn it on and off. And you'll have this button right here. But before you hit record, here's a couple of things to think about. You kind of hold it off, kind of hold it down and it'll give you options. And these options are where do you on. want the recording to go. Now you can still go and adjust it by, but by doing this, you don't bring a lot of the room noise up. It just creates the, I, I, I don't even know what it does exactly, but it just makes it sound better. Again, with it, we're gonna turn it off, with it off. After it's finished, I have mine automatically going with it to on. photos, but you could go Ain't to cool? email or- Now, I don't know if something like this works in like Premiere or DaVinci or a CapCut. I don't know a lot about those programs because I'm a Final Cut dude, <laughs> not to be confused with the Final Cut Pro. Wait a minute. Now, the best tip is to try and get your audio right as you're recording, but in the event you've got noisy or it's too low, do this and it will sound mm, so much better. And if you wanna even do more with Final Cut Pro or even work on your audio, check out the videos coming up next and remember to keep creating because the world needs you, especially if they can hear you.